Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always, told out of voice of radio. So today we need to take a look at something very exciting which is happening in the One Piece CCG, and that is that we are getting Starter Deck 15 to Starter Deck 20 deck limited battle release events between the 25th of October and the 15th of November. But before we get rolling too much, I need to have a slight moan. I need to have a little bit of a complaint here. And that is, they have gone and announced this event. They've put it up on the official English website. They've given us all the information. And don't worry, I'm going to share it with you as we go through. But we still don't have images of the English decks. But why? Why do we not have images of the English deck? So we go to the product page. It still just gives us these placeholder images. And like we've seen the Japanese decks. I'm going to obviously be using those pictures as we go through this video. We've seen the Japanese decks. We know what they're going to look like. And I understand how they're, they're not going to show them off immediately. That's fine. I can understand it. But I think when they've gone to the point where they're announcing the release event for the decks... They can probably, at that point, just show us the decks. Come on. Seriously. Why do we not have English images on the official website of these decks yet? That strikes me as, frankly, a little bit silly. It's not the end of the world. It just makes me a little bit sad. But don't worry, ladies and gentlemen, because I've still got all the information. And like I say, we've got images of the Japanese decks as well. So we're going to be all right. Here's what it says on the website. Join in to commemorate the release of the latest six starter decks. This special tournament is limited to use of starter decks 15 to 20, which levels the playing field and makes it easy for beginners to join in too. Buy one of these new starter decks to let you start playing right away, and then join the fun of this event and get awesome exclusive prizes. Yeah! Now, I'm a big old TCG nerd, don't get me wrong, but this sounds like heaven to me. It's a sealed event where you just pick your favorite of the six decks and then roll. That sounds genuinely brilliant. I'm a huge fan of this. I don't know if any of these are going to be going on near where I live, but you can be absolutely sure that if there is one, I'm going to be joining in. They're starting on the 25th of October and going on to the 15th of November, which interestingly enough is one week after the release of Premium Booster 01. Premium Booster 01 comes out on the 8th. The pre-releases for this finish on the 15th of November. As a side note, because I do think this is pretty important, if you were expecting a pre-release for Premium Booster 01, and you shouldn't have been, like, like with EBO1, we're, we're not going to get one. But if you were hoping for one of these, this pretty much confirms we're not getting one. I'm not saying it's absolutely 100% official or anything like that, but I absolutely am saying that... If we were going to see pre-release events for Premium Booster 01, they would have to be before the release, pre-release. And we know that the week or two before the release of this, we're going to be getting these events. So I'm not saying for absolute certain it's definitely not happening, but I am saying it is um very, 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 very unlikely at this point that we are going to be getting a release event for Premium Booster 01. Feel free to be upset about that. That's okay. So what are we getting for this particular one? Well, when you turn up, you get yourself one of six play sheets that interestingly enough are the same play sheets they released in Japan when they had a similar thing going on. At the Amazon offices. Yeah, that was a bit weird. Although, obviously, there was some Japanese text on the Japanese there isn't here. But still, same kind of play sheets. And essentially, and don't get excited, right? They're, they're, they're going to be paper. They're not going to be big old rubber play mats, as fun as that would be. But you still get yourself some cool play sheets here, and that is pretty cool. And you got one for each of the six starter decks. They're using the artwork. Fun little side note here. All of the artworks here, these are all alternate arts of existing leaders. And they are all done by Basai who is one of my favourite One Piece artists, which is pretty cool. What else do you get? Well, when you rock up, you get a participation pack where you get yourself one of six stamped cards. And these are existing cards that we've had before. They are not new, 
But what they are is stamped. Let's take Whitebeard Pirates, for instance. Whitebeard Pirates came out in OPO2. Let's not pretend this is a new card. It's not a new card. It's an old card. It came around in the second set. It's not alternate art. It's not new. What it is, is stamped with pre-release event. Or it's actually release event it's stamped with. And you know what? I think that is pretty cool. Uh, this is the one where you look at the top five cards of your deck, find a card with a type including white bit pirates, add it to your hand, put the rest of the bottom of your deck in any order, as a main or as a trigger. Pretty cool if you're playing white beard pirates. We've got Tony Tony Chopper from OPO2, and this is probably the point where you go, oh yeah, they're doing one for each color. But they're not just doing one for each color. Obviously, the red deck is Edward Newgate. They're giving us a, an event card that searches for white beard pirates. The green deck is Uta, and they're giving us the film Chopper. Not a coincidence, ladies and gentlemen. I kind of love this. They are giving us one card that kind of makes sense for each. And actually, if you want a little bit of a peek behind the curtain, and I'm not going to prove this. You can take my word for it, because why would I lie about this? These are actually cards which are not being released in the decks. How cool is that? These are not in the decks. Whitebeard Pirates is not in the Newgate deck. Chopper is not in the Uta deck. So they're giving us cards that make sense in the decks, but are not actually in the starter decks, which, I don't know, there's something about that that I kind of enjoy. Over in blue, they've given us the Crocodile from OPO7. Four cost, 5,000 power, counter plus 2,000. And on play, rest one of your Don to return a two cost or less to your opponent's hand. It's not bad. Oh, the chopper, I should say, was counter plus 2k, Don X1 when attacking. Rest one of your opponent's characters with a cost of two or less. These are pretty decent cards. Over in purple, we got the Roanoa Zorro, which was actually a promo card. And you know what's really cool about this? This was actually a pre-release promo. And now it's coming back as a deck release promo. And I think that's kind of awesome. There's just something weird about that. And I kind of appreciate it. I kind of enjoy it. I kind of like that. Uh, as for what the card is and what the card does, six costs 7,000 power, counter plus 1,000. And it's got Banish. So when you take a life, it's not added to hand. Trigger, don't activate and all of that. It just goes away and never comes back. Which you can be upset about if you like. That one's up to you. And then over in black, and this is the one I really want. We've got Tashigi. I like Smoker and Tashigi. They're awesome. And we've got three cost, 4,000 power, counter plus 2,000. And we've got an activate main, rest this character. Give one of your opponent's characters minus two cost during this turn. I kind of like this. It's from Star Deck 6. It's a decent card. Again, all of these cards are new. But it, well... It's from Starter Deck 6, but it's not actually the Starter Deck 6 print of Tashigi. This is the promo print of Tashigi. Which, again, is kind of cool. This is a card we, we've had before. This isn't a new print. We've had this print of Tashigi before. But now we've got it as a nice little promo with a stamp on. I think that's rather lovely. Now, in terms of the six Starter Decks, we've talked about these quite a lot. But just as a little bit of a refresher... Starter Deck 15 is your Edward Newgate Starter Deck, which has got a reprint of the Newgate from OP02, is your White Beard Pirates. Starter Deck 16 is your Uta Starter Deck, which has got a reprint of the Uta, which was actually from Starter Deck 11. So this Uta is now Starter Deck 11 and Starter Deck 16, which is a little bit weird. We've got the Doflamingo from OP01. And I've, I've told you this in a couple of other videos, but let me make this nice and clear now. This card is about to become great. When we hit the OP09 meta, this becomes a very, very, very good leader. Like a really good leader. And it's, it's one of the top ones in the format. So I'm just warning you here, ladies and gentlemen, this is actually legit. This Doflamingo, I know for a little while, it's not been a particularly good deck. was really good in the early days of the game. Kind of went away after that. But I'm telling you right now, this is about to become an extremely good deck again. So, yeah. Maybe, maybe pick this up. Because also, there's like five new cards in each deck. And all of the Doflamingo cards are seeing play. All of the new cards in Doflamingo see play in the new Doflamingo deck. 
you have been warned. The Luffy is a Luffy from OPO5, which does seem to be reprinted approximately every five minutes. But here's another version of it if you like. The Smoker is a Smoker from OPO2, and Smoker's not making a comeback in the same way that Doflamingo is, and I'm not pretending he is. But Smoker's kind of there and kind of interesting, and I'm just saying, maybe in the future. This is my personal favourite. If I go to a release event, I'm probably going to end up playing the Smoker. And then, of course, we've got Katakuri from OPO3 coming in as Starter Deck 20. Here's the problem, though. There are winner cards. Well, I suppose there is a winner pack. But here are the two Toshigi side by side. And maybe I'm being dumb. I, I can't see a difference between them here, ladies and gentlemen. I cannot see a difference between these Toshigi. They seem like they're the same card. But there is a winner pack. So, yeah. Not 100% sure what to do with this one. But there is a winner pack that you only get if you win. Oh, there's also a storage box featuring the artwork that you get if you win as well. So maybe we should be trying to win. Rather than just picking Smoker, because Smoker's clearly the coolest among them. Either way, I've told you what you need to know. I've told you about this format going on, so now it's over to you guys. Tell me which deck you're going to pick. Tell me if you're going to be able to go along to one of these. Tell me anything you want to tell me in the comment section. Go nuts! Be nice! And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk about One Piece and a bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, join a Discord, and all kinds of fun things. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching Wasi Plays.